So the Ola versus the Simple. Uh, a lot of people have been asking this question to us. Ki, what do you wait for? You know, मतलब people have bookings have opened for both of these companies, right? So uh, as far as specifications are concerned, and just specifications, I think Simple obviously is kind of uh, a little bit better than the Ola. But then uh, one needs to keep in mind that. Simple specifications have been tweaked, uh, especially over the last two, three weeks, or one week, or a few minutes before the launch. So uh, I would kind of wait and watch as far as uh, Simple is concerned. They've got a lovely set of specifications. If they can deliver on the 200 kilometer range, if they can deliver on the acceleration figures that they have promised, I think it's going to be an amazing scooter. Uh, the Ola. is a more functional scooter what i liked about it is the uh, monocoque chassis which makes the scooter lighter and i think weight management is very important for electric scooter so what helps is the monocoque chassis now it's a composite panel chassis uh, that's 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 not uh, been a very tried and tested chassis for indian conditions so again uh, we will look at how the chassis performs right uh, european roads uh, which is what the etergo designed it for Uh, are a different story indian roads we know are a very different story but i am assuming that ola must have done amount, some amount of homework before they kind of decided to go in with that design now uh, one thing that uh, you should note is that both of these companies are primarily uh, have been driven by vc funding and are looking for more funding whether it is through the ipo or the vc or whatever it is right so um, one thing we need to understand is when you are you are a funded company uh it's not so much about revenue as it is about the story and the growth and so on and so forth so bhavesh is a brilliant marketer uh well i will not place him in the elon musk territory but he's trying to get there and uh well simple is a little bit behind as far as story selling is concerned but i believe that uh, when it comes to story selling they are much better and when it comes to delivery we are not so sure about how those stories are going to actually unfold making a scooter from scratch is not a very simple process uh, either for simple or for ola uh, sometimes i do get a feeling that they are biting a little bit more than they can chew uh, i for one would have preferred going in for certain you know aggregates which are the important ones to make on my own and i would not want to go to the henry ford way uh, for those of you who don't know when the river rouge plant of uh, ford during the heydays of the 1920s 30s uh, the only input that used to come was things like rubber and iron right and then the output was the car so everything was being made in house by ford and company right and uh, i think uh, at least ola is trying to take that approach which i am not too sure is a sensible approach or not i would definitely like to use a good mix of make and buy as far as the scooter making is concerned my guess is uh, you will have ola delivery starting because uh, i think it's just about managing expectations but i don't really see uh, thousands of olas coming onto the roads very soon you will have a few hundreds coming in possibly a lot of them could be just imports from uh, netherlands right but uh, till that time i think the company would get some feedback about how the scooters are running tinker around a little bit with the design and then be able to scale up so the factory is ready Uh, a lot of us suspect that it is just civil engineering right so there's not too much of electronics and electrical and mechanical inside still right i i believe a lot of it is empty space we've never been shown the inside of the factory at one shot so uh, filling that up will take time and and you know i think uh, my our best wishes are to both ola and simple for their manufacturing ventures but uh, again i would say that uh, they should uh, be a bit cautious as far as uh, investments in manufacturing are concerned because investments in manufacturing are not the same like investments in it mm -hmm. right so it's not that you are setting up a rental company where you don't own any assets and so it doesn't really matter all you are doing is spending money to acquire customers uh, you cannot follow the same approach uh, in the uh, real world so so it's a better to be a bit more cautious and uh, see how happens because you don't want to get stuck with a lot of uh warranty failures you don't want to get us with a stack of uh, with recalls because this is the road correct and mistakes in programming can cost lives over here okay so that's what uh, companies will need to kind of uh, understand who come from a software it kind of a background 
सिंपल हैज दिस इनोवेशन ऑफ हैविंग अ रिमूवेबल एंड अ फिक्सड पैक नाउ ऑफकोर्स द गुड पार्ट इज दैट दीज बैटरी पैक्स आर नॉट इन पैरल यू कैंड ऑफ यूज वन और यू यूज द अदर right so that takes care of a lot of complications that can come as far as pack level balancing as concerned uh now there is a danger of one pack not getting used at all right and and you need to understand that if you have a battery pack that has not been used for say a month or two months you can run into trouble a battery pack by design uh, is has to be used at least every week right so if it's going to depend on the user about whether they use it or not then you could end up a problem where the fixed pack has degraded totally because you forgotten to charge it or whatever it is correct or the removable pack gets degraded because you forgotten to charge it so that could be a problem that could come uh, in the simple kind of design but again uh, till the time we get the vehicle on the road we get our testing done we will not be able to kind of share that in all likelihood for simple you also will need to check set up a charging point because the fixed battery will require a charging point the the removable battery does not charge the fixed battery right so the charging point is a must at your parking level correct so it's not something which like in other scooter that you can remove the battery and go you're only removing half the battery and going and the other half is as important right so you need to kind of take care of both the halves as far as the ola battery is concerned the original design was three removable batteries uh now typically what happens is each of these battery packs would have it to have its own bms right and uh, when you are looking at designing for price uh, having three sets of bms uh, will jack up the price by at least some 7 8 000 rupees and when you are trying to get the price to a sub 1 lakh kind of a territory that could have been an issue which is why possibly what ola has done has put a single bms correct and they didn't want to play around too much with the design so they've retained the banana shaped batteries but they've not made it removable because if you make it removable you have problems with the bms right but i would still see if they could give an option of removable batteries so for people who are ready to pay a premium i think that's something that they should have gone and thought about so bhavesh has announced on twitter that the ola s1 pro sales have crossed 1100 crore rupees in sales in two days here's my take on this look at the cash flows then we know that 1 lakh scooters had been booked and if each person is paying about 20000 rupees the math tells me that the amount raised should have been about 200 crores so i guess bhavish is actually referring to the value of the scooters booked and the assumption is that all the folks who have booked earlier have paid up now that seems to be difficult to digest to me one thing that worries me you have a scooter which has been sold without test rides how do we judge stuff like ergonomics performance real life range after sales service by just looking at numbers in a pdf document on the face of it ola seems to have won the miss universe competition already in terms of specifications but we need to go back in history and remember that the tata nano had also got 1 lakh bookings but it still turned out to be a flop was talking to a few vendors of ola and the first lot of production that they have been given is very very low compared to the figures that bhavish is talking about we will take whatever bhavish says with a few pinches of salt so the question we've been asked is ki uh, what would an atul gopal do uh, if he were to buy a scooter today would he go in for an ola or a simple i would go with ola Uh, simply because they put in they got a more established product it's a product that has been running on roads for the last few years and uh, as far as simple is concerned i would say wait and watch so uh, we'd like to hear your stories uh, uh, 1 lakh 30000 people have gone and made payments for either the ola or the simple i hope you're one of them and if you are then please put in your comments below as to why did you end up choosing the ola or why did you end up choosing the simple looking forward to your comments